In thermodynamics, a critical point is the end point of a phase equilibrium curve. The most prominent example is the liquid vapor critical point. The end point of the pressure temperature curve that designates conditions under which a liquid and its vapor can coexist. At the critical point, defined by a critical temperature Tc and a critical pressure Pc, phase boundaries vanish. Other examples include the liquid-liquid critical points in mixtures, liquid vapor critical point. Overview for simplicity and clarity, the generic notion of critical point is best introduced by discussing a specific example, the liquid vapor critical point. This was historically the first critical point to be discovered, and it is still the best known and most studied one. The figure to the right shows the schematic PT diagram of a pure substance. The commonly known phases solid, liquid and vapor are separated by phase boundaries, i.e., pressure-temperature combinations where two phases can coexist. At the triple point, even all three phases coexist. However, the liquid vapor boundary terminates in an end point at some critical temperature Tc and critical pressure Pc. This is the critical point. In water, the critical point occurs at around 647 K and 22.064 megapascals. In the vicinity of the critical point, the physical properties of the liquid and the vapor change dramatically, with both phases becoming ever more similar. For instance, liquid water under normal conditions is nearly incompressible, has a low thermal expansion coefficient, has a high dielectric constant, and is an excellent solvent for electrolytes. Near the critical point, all these properties change into the exact opposite. Water becomes compressible, expandable, a poor dielectric, a bad solvent for electrolytes, and prefers to mix with nonpolar gases and organic molecules. At the critical point, only one phase exists. The heat of vaporization is zero. There is an inflection point in the constant temperature line on a PV diagram. This means that at the critical point, above the critical point one has a state of matter that is continuously connected with both the liquid and the gaseous state. It is called supercritical fluid. The common textbook knowledge that all distinction between liquid and vapor disappears beyond the critical point has been challenged by Fisher and Widome who identified a P-T line that separates states with different asymptotic statistical properties. History The existence of a critical point was first discovered by Charles Canyard de la Tour in 1822 and named by Dimitri Mendeleev in 1860 and Thomas Andrews in 1869. Canyard showed that CO2 could be liquefied at 31 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 73 atmospheres but not at a slightly higher temperature, even under pressures as high as 3000 atmospheres. Theory solving the above condition for the van der Waals equation, one can compute the critical pointers. However, the van der Waals equation, based on a mean field theory, does not hold near the critical point. In particular, it predicts wrong scaling laws. To analyze properties of fluids near the critical point, reduced state variables are sometimes defined relative to the critical properties. The principle of corresponding states indicates that substances at equal reduced pressures and temperatures have equal reduced volumes. This relationship is approximately true for many substances, but becomes increasingly inaccurate for large values of PR. Table of liquid vapor critical temperature and pressure for selected substances mixtures. Liquid-liquid critical point. The liquid-liquid critical point of a solution, which occurs at the critical solution temperature, occurs at the limit of the two-phase region of the phrase diagram. In other words, it is the point at which an infinitesimal change in some thermodynamic variable will lead to separation of the mixture into two distinct liquid phases, as shown in the polymer solvent phrase diagram to the right. Two types of liquid-liquid critical points are the upper critical solution temperature, which is the hottest point at which cooling will induce phase separation, and the lower critical solution temperature, which is the coldest point at which heating will induce phase separation. Mathematical definition from a theoretical standpoint 
The liquid liquid critical point represents the temperature concentration extremum of the spinodal curve. Thus, the liquid liquid critical point in a two component system must satisfy two conditions the condition of the spinodal curve, and the extreme in condition. In renormalization group theory, the critical point is described by a conformal field theory. According to the renormalization group theory, the defining property of criticality is that the characteristic length scale of the structure of the physical system, also known as the correlation length Xi, becomes infinite. This can happen along critical lines in phase space. This effect is the cause of the critical opalescence that can be observed as binary fluid mixture approaches its liquid-liquid critical point. In systems in equilibrium, the critical point is reached only by precisely tuning a control parameter. However, in some non-equilibrium systems, the critical point is an attractor of the dynamics in a manner that is robust with respect to system parameters, a phenomenon referred to as self-organized criticality.